Hello anyone, everyone, and no one. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can farm bees. That way you can get an unlimited supply of honey bottles and honeycombs in your world. Now, first things first, if you're wanting to build a honey or a honeycomb farm, you need to find yourself some bees nests. Now these things generate 5% of the time on world generation in a plains biome and a sunflower plains biome. And of course, there are other biomes as well, but your best chance of finding them is in those biomes. Now, once you've found your bees nest, you can breed up your bees with flowers so that they will produce more bees so that they can harvest the honey and everything faster. Now, after you've found your bees nest, you want to harvest them up and take them back to base so that we can get more of them and automate our storage system. Now, the key thing to note is when you actually go to harvest these things, you can harvest them with more or less any tool and even your hand, but you need to use a silk touch tool. Otherwise, the bees will come out and attack you and bees that attack you will die. So ideally, you want to use a silk touch axe and just boop just like that you now have your bees nest now of course once you get this thing back to your base or whatever you're going to want to continue to breed up your bees so that you can make more beehives and the way that we end up making more beehives is well with shears come over here and you shear off the honeycomb out of the bees nest one thing that i should note is that while doing this during the day or any time you ideally want to have where, where's where's my campfire we need a campfire we put a campfire underneath of this thing here to keep the bees nice and docile because if you do that any other time without that there they're going to come out and attack you and they're going to die bees that sting do die that being said you would continue to harvest up get all the honeycombs that you would need so that you could craft you more beehives. And once you've got a suitable collection of hives and bees, you can simply breed up your bees with flowers. So if you just right click them all with flowers, they will continue to breed up and get more bees. And of course, as you're going, you place down more hives that way, you know, they have, they have places to live because well, they need, they need a home. They need a home. But after you've got a suitable collection of hives and bees, then we want to automate this farm and take us completely out of the equation and let this thing run all on its own. For this build, you're going to need 10 chests, 8 comparators, 1 hopper minecart, 12 powered rails, 24 hoppers, 4 regular rails, 8 dispensers, 40 redstone dust, 8 flowers. You're going to need dirt, which is not on screen, and building blocks of your choice. Well, they can go into building blocks of your choice, okay? You're going to need dirt, you're going to need building blocks, and you're going to need glass. Let's get to it, shall we? So that all being said, let's get to the tutorial. Now, I am going to be building this farm within a singular chunk because I am going to be using a minecart collection system. And sometimes minecarts despawn going over chunk borders. So if you need to figure out how to find chunk borders in your world, I have a video, you know, top, top, top right hand corner up there. Feel free to check that out. But let's get to it, shall we? So uh, first uh, things first, since we're going to be building this within a singular chunk here, we need to go ahead and place out eight blocks going uh, this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now from here, we're going to grab some comparators and we're going to put a comparator behind each one of these blocks like so. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone dust. We're going to run our redstone dust in front of all those comparators. And then from here, we're going to grab some glass and do the exact same thing in front of that. Once again, redstone dust all the way down the front. And now we're going to grab our glass and we're going to go up these two blocks right here side by side. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab a row of building blocks and place on top of that. And then we're going to fill every bit of this area here with redstone dust. That way, when there is a comparator a signal strength of five, it will come through, I'll light up all this and power this block right here. Now, why is this block important? Well, this block is going to be where our dispenser is, which is going to allow us to either collect the honey or the honey comb from this system. 
So, after all of our dispensers are in place, we now need to magically uh, dig out an area underneath of here. And look at this. I already have an area prepped. Wow, that's just that's just amazing. So, we need to dig down one, a two, a three, a four blocks. And we need to go out one, a two, a three, a four. Just so we have room to work while we're making our collection system for this farm. Of course, you should also run this out a couple blocks past the end as well. Now, from here, let's go ahead and grab our grass blocks, which we totally, totally did not forget. And we're gonna put grass blocks all the way around through here. We're going to place them out three deep because our beehive is going to go there. And of course, our flowers are going to go right out here. One, two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Now from here, we can go ahead and grab our glass and we can go ahead and cover the rest of this farm up because at this point, we don't need to do a much else in here. We're almost done with all of this over here. So from here, we're going to go ahead and throw in our collection system here. So we're going to be grabbing our hoppers. We're going to be grabbing our chest, our rails, our powered rails, our hopper minecart, and our redstone blocks. Now, of course, you do not have to make this thing completely out of hoppers, but I am going to just for convenience. It makes my life easier. So I've got all those hoppers going into those. <clears throat> and then, of course, we're going to place all of these going into those there. From here, we're going to put a redstone block right there. We're going to grab our rails. We're going to put two rails right there. And then we're going to run a row of powered rails all the way down here. From here, two more regular rails. And of course, reverse the thing all the way back up with powered rails on this side. And then we put a redstone block right there. Grab our minecart hopper and push that baby along. And now anything that gets dropped up here will get picked up and be dropped off in our chest down here down below. An easy collection system easy collection system so at this point here we are almost done we just need to decide if we are going to be farming honey or honeycombs so what we are going to do is place hoppers into all of those dispensers there and then we are going to put a chest on top of each one of these now the reason i am opting to put chests in this manner is i may not want to collect nothing but honey bottles or nothing but honeycombs. Maybe I want to uh, mix it up just a little bit. And to do that, we're going to need a few more things. If you're wanting to collect honeycombs, you are going to need a shears. Now, one thing to note with this system is that you need to completely fill up your dispensers. Completely. So if you're wanting to collect honeycombs, you need to have this thing completely full of shears and you need more shears and more shears. The more you have, the longer it can go. And the same thing can be said with bottles. If you are wanting to collect honey, well, fill it up, fill it up and keep it full. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a, a cheat right here and I am going to use the same exact chest and put that all the way down through here just for demonstrational purposes. Now, as I said, you want to keep these full as possible. So I would advise checking your system once or twice a day, crafting up the honey and putting the bottles back into the system to recycle them. So at this point, we're more or less done. The only thing we need to add in now are our beehives and our bee nests, which is as simple as placing them directly against this back block. Now I need to note these are directional. If you place them the wrong way, AKA like this, your bees can't come out. You need those dots in the front. Same with the beehives. They are directional. That, no go. See the handle right there? You need that right there facing front. Now, ideally, this will probably be the setup you will have, you know, multiple hives and one original nest that you've found. Now, of course, you know, I, I cleared my inventory a while ago, so we're going to have to do this part here. Just just a little bit cheaty and manual with some spawn eggs. But of course, it's the same exact concept in your world. As long as you have them, you can breed them up and your system is good to go.
Now, as our bees continue to harvest pollen from the flowers, they will keep coming in and out of their hives and eventually building up more and more redstone strength in these signals back here. And of course, once they get to a signal strength of five, this one here, because it is using shears, will harvest us honeycombs. And these over here that are using bottles will harvest us honey bottles. That being said, it's a really, really a simple and easy farm. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section or join the Discord. That is a good way to get help from me and or the community. But I think that right there is where we're going to call this a tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to drop a like. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And on that note, I will catch all of you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.